I thought we might be vamping along with uh, with reggae for the rest of the evening then. <laughs> Which is not Nothing an unattractive works. prospect. <laughs> Good. Oh, always, always, mate. <laughs> Good evening, the bell. We are Doug and Sarah. Uh, we've stepped in for Intarsia this evening because Joe couldn't be with us. Uh, and we're just going to play some folk songs and tunes. There'll be bits to chill out to and there'll be bits to uh, join in with if you wish. So... Uh, We'll start with a couple of little hornpipe tunes and see how we get on with those.
very much. Lovely stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Stevie, for doing the sound there. That, uh, the first tune was, um, oh, I think it's called Bell, Bell Tower. Bell Tower Hornpipe, isn't it? Is that written by Simon Kerr? Bell Tower Hornpipe by Simon Kerr yeah. and Dave Shepard's new hornpipe, yeah, number reference one to, uh, by Dave Shepard. Yeah, <laughs> but Stevie was saying how much he likes Blows of Bella and Dave Shepard is the fiddle player from Blows of Bella. So there you go. Okay, we'll carry on with a little song. Yeah, this is a song written in the 1970s by Tucker Zimmerman from the USA. It's a song for uncertain times. Just perfect. In fact, it's probably more relevant now than it's ever been. And it's got bits to join in with. All you have to remember is, how do you know? How do you know? Profound. It's called The Davis Tale. It's deep, man. It's deep. sent his son into the mountains to try to find the runaway the boy found the horse and seven other wild ones and he brought them home and all the neighbors said what good luck but the farmer said how do you know sent his son into the fields to train the wild horses there. The first one he tried, it threw him to the ground. And he broke his arm and all the neighbours said, what bad luck, but the farmer said, how do you know? Next day, there was 
was a war declared And the army man came marching through the countryside He was looking for men, but he couldn't take anyone Who had a broken arm and all the neighbours said What good luck, but the farmer said How do you know? Song those that joined in. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, uh, how's it sounding, Stevie? Are we all good? <laughs> Lovely yeah. stuff. We'll do a couple of English tunes for you now. Uh, different sort of hornpipes. This is the Roman reel, and oh, I think you might even recognise the last oh, one. Oh, we can't tell you what it is, oh, but oh, you'll join oh. in. We, are we keeping it a secret? Oh yeah. Okay, do you'll sing along. In. First ones, we come from Derby. Uh, the first one's a Derbyshire tune. Comes from a collection called the Ashover Collection. Coincidentally, from the little village of Ashover oh, in, in Ashover, Derbyshire. Amazing. Yeah, it was the journal of a jobbing musician who played for dances and whatnot. And it had all his dances and his tunes laid out <laughs> in the book. And they don't get played very often now, so we'll, we'll play this one for you now, the Roman gem. reel. And then you can all join in with the second one, because I'm sure you'll know it. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Oh, it's true, the old ones are the best. <laughs> Such a simple tune, but it's so gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely. Okay. We're going to carry on with something called a, a child ballad now. I know the word ballad often conjures fears of 57 verses. You can't hear any of the lyrics and nobody knows really what goes on. So I'm going to do my best to uh, articulate and uh, get the diction out there. And this is a great tale of magic and mystery. And what's it got? Um, it's got unborn children and evil stepmothers, mother-in-laws. That's it, mother-in-laws. Uh, but it does have a happy ending. So this is... Willie's Lady. Yeah, the, uh, the, the child ballads are called oh, child yeah, ballads not because they're about children, uh, because they were collected by a guy but called Francis wanted. Child. <laughs> you know, it's as boring as that, really. But he did get some cracking songs crackin in his songs. collection. Yeah. <clears throat> right then, here we go. See you on the other side. Don't worry, it's not that long. He's wooed a wife and he's brought her home He's brought her home all against his mother's will His mother wrought her a wicked spell And a wicked spell she's laid on her She'd be with child for long and many's the year But the child she could never bear And in a bower she lies in pain King Willie by her bedside he to stand Down his cheeks Salt and tears do run.
saying you must go get you down to the marketplace you must buy a ball of wax and you must shape it as a babe that is to nurse you must make two eyes of glass and ask your mother to the christening day and you must stand there as close as you can be so you could hear what she to say king willie he's gone down to the marketplace he has bought a ball of wax and he has shaped it as a babe that is to nurse he has made two eyes of glass he's asked his mother to the christening day and he has stood there as close as he can be so he can hear what she did say well how she spat and how she swore she spied the babe where no babe could be before spied the babe where none could be before says who was it who undid the nine witch knots braided in amongst this lady's locks and who was it who the leather shoe untied from the left foot of his wedded bride? And who was it split the silken thread? The spider had stretched all beneath his lady's bed. The spider had stretched all beneath her bed. Well, it was Willie who undid the nine witch knots braided in amongst this lady's locks. And it was Willie who the leather shoe untied from the left foot of his wedded bride. And it was Willie split the silken thread. The spider had stretched all beneath this lady's bed. The spider had stretched all beneath her bed. And she has borne her baby son. Great are the blessings that be them upon. Great are the blessings them You may not believe, but well in, in some versions of that song, there's a, there's a little billy goat that lives under the bed for nearly a year while all of that is going on and nobody ever noticed. Ever noticed, apparently, yeah. Honestly, yeah. it's bad enough just not taking your shoes off in bed, not combing your hair and never <laughs> hoovering, but having a billy goat under the bed for a year, that just, we draw the line at that. Ridiculous. Isn't folk music marvellous, yes. We haven't, haven't had any death yet, have we, in any of our songs? I don't know. Have we got any death in, later on in it? Yeah, maybe a little well, bit. I'm not sure. It there's depends, a, there's a lot of beer drinking do. songs in a bit as well. We'll get around to those in a moment. But right now, we're going to play something from a new recording that we are making at the moment. We have CDs down here available. We've even got Christmas down here if you want some. Uh, <laughs> but um, we are doing a recording at the moment of uh, European dance tunes. And this is one of those. It's a set of polkas. Uh, the first one's called The Perfect Dolly. Uh, that, by that, uh, I mean one of those dollies that you use when videoing to get that gorgeous, smooth, mo smooth moving, um, making the video kind of in transition. And actually, I found the perfect dolly was when I was videoing on a sailing boat and videoing the bank as it went along, and I just decided that was my perfect dolly. So there you I, go. I thought That's it was written for the from. Barbie movie, wasn't it? <laughs> No, it's nothing to do with Barbie. <laughs> and, um, and then Doug wrote the second tune, actually, which is um, called Rosie Dance the Polka. And it was a commissioned piece um, for somebody's 60th birthday. So there you go. She is a fantastic Fortunately, they dancer. liked it. That's the hard bit. Yeah, when someone yeah, commissions yeah. you to write something, you have to actually give it to them and hope they like it. Yeah, so she did. She fortunately was, so. She was chuffed. So here we go. Uh, have a little polka if you fancy it. You can even like have a little polka sat down if you feel like it. It's all good exercise, yeah, isn't it? Care-based exercise, yeah. Care-based exercise, that's it. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 all right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to let you know for the Melodian player's sake. It's in D, OK, if anybody cares. It's not in G. We just worked that out. <laughs> One, two, three, four.
so much. Hope you enjoyed a little polka. How old was he? It looked, it looked like his, birth, his birthday balloons were 10. But he did look older than 10, to be fair. <laughs> I couldn't read the balloon number. What was that then? Old. And now the drinking song, Stark. Yeah. We'll sing you a song. Um, it was written by a Scottish poet um, called Robert W. Service, who went to Canada in the gold rush and lived in some very, let's say, rural um, conditions. He was a bank clerk in Dawson, and he saw all manner of stuff in that age, and, and he wrote some poems about it. This is one of his later ones. Uh, it's called In Praise of Alcohol. There's some bits you can join in with. We'd love it if you did. Oh, yeah. Are you a singing audience? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You just have to, like, jo listen to a line and then just join in with it and do your own thing yeah, with it. It's sort of... No judgment. Go predictable. for it. Predictable. Enough. <laughs> a vintage wine I am a lover. To drink deep it is my delight. If it were not for the bleak hangover, I'd get loaded every night. I'd whoop it up with song and laughter. Whoop it up with song and laughter. Whoop it up with song and laughter. If it were not for the morning after. Though to soberness I'm given, it is a thought I've often thunk. The closest that is earth to heaven is to get sublimely drunk, is to achieve divine elation, to achieve divine elation, to achieve divine elation. By means of generous libation. But all oh, those wine cups claim their payment, and as the price is often pain, if we could know what morning grey meant, we never would get soused again, rather than buy a hobnailed liver. Rather than buy a hobnailed liver. Rather than buy a hobnailed liver. I'm sure that we'd abstain forever. But oh, I love that glow of liquor as joyfully I drink it up. Hoping that until life's last flicker, with praise I'll raise the ruby cup. So let me like a jolly monk. So let me like a jolly monk. So let me like a jolly monk. Proceed to get sublimely. Drunk. I'm on Diet Coke here. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, Doug, tell them about the hobnailed liver bit. That's a bit weird, that bit is. Oh, hobnailed livers, yeah. Um, then it's not as grim as it sounds. Hobnailed liver was a Victorian hangover cure. No, it is as you, grim as um, it sounds. <laughs> you went to, uh, went to the butcher's, got a calf's liver, studded it with cloves, and fried it for breakfast oh, in the morning. Yummy. Kill or cure. I've never tried it, but uh, <laughs> give it a shot tomorrow. Uh, and answers on a postcard as to whether it was kill or cure or something. Anyway, a great song. Thank you very much for listening and joining in there. Um, we're going to do another drinking song as well. This is a really, really old song. In fact, I think it's the oldest song that I know. It comes from about the 1500s, I think. Uh, it's even got some words in. I had to go and look up what they mean. And I've, I hope I can still remember them all. Um, uh, loads of great rhymes. And oh, a bit to join in with. Let's see if we can get the chorus. It is. This is the chorus, if you fancy it, okay? <laughs> Let back and sides go bare, go bare. Both foot and hand go cold. But belly God send thee good ale in a 
whether it be new or old. That's your bit if you want it, all right? Don't or worry, just I'll be doing it too. <coughs> if this be new or old, if you didn't if get all be, of that. Whether it be new or old, that would do old. nicely. Or yeah. anything that you fancy in between, yeah. okay. <laughs> Right, I forgot verse 4 yesterday, so we'll see if we can get that right today. Hang on a minute, let me see if I can remember it now. They shall not live forever. I don't know, I can't remember verse 4 at the moment, so we'll see what happens when we get there. <laughs> I can remember 1 and 2, 3, she says. <laughs> Eat but little meat, my stomach is not good. But sure, I think that I can drink within that well of food. Though I go bare, take ye no care, for I am never cold. I am so wrapped, so thoroughly loved with jolly good ale and old. Let back and side go bare, go bare. And go cold, but belly God send me good ale and whether it be new or old. I love no roast but a nut brown toast or a crab laid in the fire. A little bread shall do this day. Much bread I never desire. No frost, nor snow, nor wind I trow Shall have me if it would I am so wrapped, so thoroughly loved With jolly good ale and old Let back and side go bare, go bare Go put in hand, go cold But belly God send me good ale and old Not, I take no thought for clothes to keep me warm. Have I good drink? I surely think that none shall do me harm. For truly, then I fear no man, though never be so bold. When I am armed and thoroughly warmed with jolly good ale and old, let back and side go bare, go bare. But belly go 
the elusive verse four. Hurrah. Terribly nice. Terribly nice. Terribly nice. Terribly nice. Terribly nice. All right, that was jolly, jolly English. And now we're going to go a bit Belgian on you, I'm afraid. Yeah, bit Belgian. Crazy Belgian tunes. Crazy Belgian tunes. They're not crazy Belgian tunes, actually. They're gorgeous tunes. So the first one is uh, called Deux Frères, which is um, for those of you that speak a little French. Two brothers. Uh, I don't know which two brothers, but anyway. Written by a lovely uh, Belgian box player, a melodian player called Ton Van... Blum blum. Ton Van Milo. There it is. And then the second tune is called Simply, which I think is Belgian for simply... You almost feel like you can speak the language. I know, I'm a native of England. And and that was written by Simon Guillain. Simon Guillain. Guillain, something like that. You can tell. Both of them are crazy Belgians, (laughs) that's the uh, crazy Belgian tunes. They are, they're lovely tunes. So, just a minute, I'm not quite there. Tell them about your melodian, Doug. I I, I built this melodian. Uh, All the other other accordions (laughs) I've... All the other accordions I've built you, you... you, um, you order them and you wait two years and, and, and eventually they turn up. Uh, for this one, I went on a course. I, I arrived on the Monday and by the Friday, I, I had it in my hands. It's a, it was an interesting experience. Isn't it's a bit like building thing? a kitchen cabinet, if I'm brutally honest. But, you know, it's got a bit more finesse on the inside. No room for teacups. He's, he's not joking. He did do that. And I went along. It was at the lovely Halsey Manor. It's not actually terribly far away from here. Where is it? Zomerzat. Zomerzat, Taunton, and then uh, off a bit into the into the Quantox. Anyway, a uh, lovely place. If you've never been, check it out. Halsey Manor. Uh, it's spelled Halsway. Um, and, uh, yeah, they run all sorts of lovely courses there, and that was one of them. I wasn't on the course. I was there as a hanger-on, and I just went for lovely walks and wrote tunes and sat around looking at the hills, you know, so that was nice. And uh, anyway, we got this beautiful instrument out of it, and we're going to play these lovely Belgian tunes for you. So do enjoy.
Thank you. I'm glad that was nice. <laughs> That's also going to be on our new c CD. <laughs> Oh, is it missing the cover? And now we're going to get geeky about Melodia. <laughs> It'll get modified. Well, you see, when you made it yourself, you could take bits on and off, can't you, if you fancy? <laughs> All right, how are we doing for time? We're, we're going to have a little little break in a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to do one song and then have a little bit of a break. Um, so this is, again, another, another little drinking song. Um, there's a lot of John Barleycorn songs out there, aren't there, for you real ale lovers? Uh, of which I am one when I'm not driving or uh, midweek not drinking. And um, this one is a, a, a John Barleycorn with a chorus, which I really wanted. And when I found it, uh, I didn't know what the melody was, so I, I kind of made one up. So this is my melody, but some really old <laughs> traditional words. And um, a beautiful Morris English Morris dance tune called The Cuckoo's Nest, just kind of woven in and out there. So I hope you enjoy all of that. So we'll take a little break after this one and see you in about uh, uh, 10 minutes or so. And um, yeah, we've got some CDs with us of all sorts. We've got some, some old stock. We put some bundles of CDs together for 20 quid here. There's even a, a six CD bundle if you're interested in. Come and have a chat with us about that. And um, Intarsia, who should have been here this evening, um, poor Joe's not very well, so we are here in her stead. But we have some of their, their, their CDs as well, and that's myself and uh, Joe May. Um, who's a percussionist who has played here before. She's a wonderful percussionist. So, okay, one more track and then we'll have a break. Young is praises song. 
See you in a bit.
Oh, I love this track. Thank you, Stevie. Professional fade there. <laughs> Always. What a lovely guy. Okay, we're back. And uh, it's the second half, because it comes after the first half, and we've done that one. So uh, we're going to start off with another drinking song, aren't we? Yeah. Why not? Song about people who love their beers so much, uh, they don't spend any money on food. No, just beer. And when someone makes the mistake of wasting money on food, it all goes horribly wrong. Yeah, won't be needing that. Two, three. to Joni Pops Shall we speak at the brew and all of our neighbours regale Although we have lost our mutton we have not lost our ale Fight did lie, did lie, die Did lie, did lie, die Fight did lie, did lie, die Did lie, did lie, die Well, the neighbours came flocking in Wasn't this such a commotion? Waste put most of his kid all aiming to get the lotion. Bang the old barrel about, pull the spigot out too. We'll all get drunk tonight. What else is there to do? Fight did lie, did lie, die. Did lie, did lie, die. Fight did lie, did lie, die. Did lie, did lie, die. Fight did lie, did lie, die. Did lie, did lie, die. Fight did lie, did lie, die. Did lie, did lie, die. Thank you very much. 
follow that with a 3-8 bourree, because you look like a dancing audience. So uh, why wouldn't we, eh? Three and two and one. Amusingly titled <laughs> One Sock. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll, sit, we'll, we'll carry on with another song now. Is this Lily Gilders? You all right with that? Yep, this is a song about yeah. the people who paint fairground rides. The old-fashioned ones, not the new ones. New ones are all airbrush and fiberglass. The old ones are wood and special paint, all painted by brush. And there's not many people who do it anymore. And when they, uh, when they do, they're called the Lily Gilders. It's Gilding got, the lily Gilding all the for lily. your delight. And it's got a lovely line in it, hasn't it, in the chorus about um, the people of the fairground traditionally just, just, you know, in the glitz and the glamour of it all, they're just selling smiles. And I think that's just such a lovely line. So take, take that notion home with you tonight. That's a lovely, lovely line. Magenta and white 
painting the osses, he brought them to life. Killing the lily, all for your delight. With the magic and the colour, they'll forget all that arrives. In the glitz and the glamour, we're just selling smiles. It was on that white palette that the magic began. A mixing and a blending, a shine in the flower. His old box of brushes, he knew everyone. There's a lark and that's a crow, and the bowl used the swan. With the magic and the colour, they'll forget all that's arrived. In the glitz and the glamour, we're just selling smiles. in one last line with the magic and the color they'll forget all that arrives in the glitz and the glamour we're just selling smiles with the magic and the color they'll forget all We're going to play you a couple of Breton dance tunes now. And uh, actually, I think if you, it's just a way of forming a line and uh, making your way to the bar. I think it's just a way of getting across the dance floor in Brittany, isn't it? To go and get your next drink. So a couple of, couple of little dance tunes from uh, Brittany. <laughs> That's a long way to go. I like that. Well, I think you'd beat me starting in Brittany to get there, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to start from here. <laughs> that was a good one. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
Time for an Aesop's fable. Well, this Aesop's fable is called The Ant and the Grasshopper. Oh, it's quite a, quite a well-known uh, tale, isn't it? And um, we tend to kind of think of this in terms of uh, the people that we meet on the festival circuit over the summer. How, how much they're enjoying themselves over the, over the summer and how much they've prepared for winter. And uh, I don't know, you can decide perhaps if you're a bit of a cautious ant who tends to uh, save everything you might need for a, a very dark and rainy day or if you're a, a carefree grasshopper. Or some healthy balance between the two, I think, is what we're looking for. <clears throat> It's no spoiler to say it doesn't end well for the grasshopper. <laughs> Sorry, it's just the way it goes. Hey, that's life. Enjoy life while you can, that's what I say. I think I'm a bit of a grasshopper myself.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Written by Leon Russelson, that song. Leon Russelson. Leon Russelson. You know that guy? Yep. Yeah, it's good, good song. Good writer, isn't he? Absolutely brilliant. I think it might be time for your... Should we do um, Following the Old Off? And then um, we can finish up for Beatles. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Yeah. Okay. We're going to sing you uh, a seasonal song now. Um, and it's got a great chorus. So do join in. Uh, it's called Following the Old Oss. It's not from this season. No, it's not this season. I wasn't going to tell them that. Uh, it's, from, it's from May Day, but hey, you know. What the hey? It's a great song, so why would you not sing it, eh? So we're going to sing that for you now, and then we're going to do a couple of tune sets to finish off this evening, and uh, uh, that'll be lovely. So following the old oss through the town, following the old oss, Padstow round. Padstow's the name of the town this comes from. Uh, on a bright May morning, all on the 1st of May. All on the 1st Nobody of May. Nobody likes to hear songs about... How the nights are drawing in and no. it's getting colder, isn't we don't, it? So we don't sing Songs them. about the coming of summer are always popular, even I, if it's I, pushing I, Christmas. I don't sing know. October songs. I do Christmas and I do summer, and that's it, you know. It, nothing in between with me. So, uh, yeah, we don't want to sing about dark nights until it gets to candlelight time, and then I'm happy. <laughs> so, yeah, a little bit of summer on a, on a actually very warm auto or October evening, isn't it, tonight? Really lovely. <laughs> He's got to turn his thingy on. Hang on a minute. Give a musician a, a switch with two positions and it'll always be in the wrong one. Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Is it the right one now? Yeah. Okay. Two, three,
join in the Mayday Chorus and dance with the old oss. It's no sin to sing the Sovereign. We follow in the old oss through the town. Following the old oss paths go round. All on a bright May morning. All on the first of May. We follow in the old oss through the town. Follow in the old oss paths go round. All on a bright May. dancing. Thank you so much. All right, you've been absolutely lovely. Thank you, The Bell, very much for having us this evening. Uh, we're going to do one more tune set for you. You can have a good jig about to that. It's a, a set of tunes that Doug wrote, and they were written for dancing too, so please do. And uh, we've come all the way down from Derby uh, to be here this evening. If... Uh, Thank you very much. If you would like to take a little bit of our music home, uh, we have some CDs. They're just £10. Thank you. Set of tunes. Set of tunes. It's called, the first one is called... Oh, we're going to do... Yeah, one more, one more. Thank you. Yeah, you don't get away that easy. And we, then we we're, not that, we're not that easy to get rid of once we've started. So, so set of tunes. First one is called um, A Yorkshire Pudding when you really shouldn't. Has anybody here had one of those? Oh, yeah. When you really shouldn't, yeah. but you know you like them. Yeah, And yeah. the second one, the second one I wrote after hearing a BBC wildlife documentary about ferrets. It's called Bending the Ferret. It's not a euphemism. It's definitely not a euphemism. It's just a thing that you can do with a ferret. They're very bendy animals, your ferret. <laughs> uh, and the third one is called um, The Dark Knight. Oh, yeah. And... Um, there we go. We want to say a big thank you to Stevie for doing the sound for us, who's always lovely, oh a, lovely as ever. Thank you very much, Stevie. Thank you to the bell for having us. Have a jig about to this one. Yeah. Uh, you've been lovely. Cheers. You want to go straight to the mix? Yeah. Yeah. Two, Thank you. 
very Fantastic, much. Fantastic, guys. Thank you. Thank you for Thank coming. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you very much for having us. Take care. Safe home all. Just a middle letter, uh, a service, as you would imagine it's spelled.